My people, my people, it's Modesta Megan Mugoni from Modesta.Africa. 10 steps to go getting. Let me just get to this. I want to give you these 10 steps because I've noticed that a lot of us go into goal setting without really being sold on our visions, without really being sold on the fact that somebody like us can achieve a thing like this. So when you want to go out and set some goals, that you're not just kind of hoping that you'll be able to achieve, that you truly can confidently go after. These are the 10 steps you need to go for. Number one, make sure that your goal is aligned to your purpose, values, vision, and mission. I don't have time to go into that right now, but there is no point whatsoever in life to set goals that are not related to your path. I just read something the other day, I thought it was so profound, talking about a lot of us are looking out for purpose, we're searching purpose, not realizing that purpose comes from God. So in searching your purpose, you're basically asking God, what is your plan for my life? And I'll tell you, he has some huge goals. Just think of the biggest thing you could imagine and then some. Hey, Dr. Shalua, I see you. Welcome to the broadcast. We're talking about the 10 steps to goal getting. So number one, it must align with purpose, values, vision, and mission. Number two, wait. It has to be one of those, wait, what you want to do? What types of goals? There is no point in going for anything I heard this the other day, somebody else said this, a coach said that if your goal is something you can achieve on your own, you're not aiming high enough. You need to have one of those, wait, what, you wanna do what type of goals? And listen, listen, listen. Just before you think, well, if I have such a great goal, Modesta, chances are I won't stick to it because if it's gonna be, wait, what, it's, it's bigger than anything I could imagine. Wait for it. There's another point that's coming up on how you can take this, wait, what? type of goal to something more manageable that is within your means to achieve. But it, it is key for you to understand you are created to go for the highest expression of anything in life. Like just think of the biggest thing you could imagine, the types of goals where you'd be like, I can't even disclose to people that I'm thinking of this. The types of goals that would literally change a nation and the world. The types of, wait, what? You wanna do what type of goals? We are wired for that. Anything less than that, honestly, is an insult to the creator. So set a, wait, what type of goal? That's number two. Number three, visualize what it looks like to actually achieve that goal. I put a post out, was it yesterday or the day before? And I was talking about, it was yesterday. And I was talking about how many a times we set goals and we have visions that we actually do not when we're really quiet and still and being truthful, we don't believe we can reach them. We just don't believe that somebody like us with a background like ours, with the struggles that we have, with the issues that we've overcome, can achieve those things. So we put out visions, but they're kind of like a, a nice thing to say that I would love for this someday, somehow in the sweet by and by to have this. But there's the, the truth of what you're saying to yourself is <laughs> like it would take God and everything else to make that happen. I don't see that happening for me. So you need to get to a place where you can visualize you actually achieving that goal, you actually living out that goal in reality. And the best way to do that is start experiencing today the types of things that you will be living in when that goal is, is set. So if it is, um, let's say, a health goal, um, you can you can either visit somebody that's overcome the, the health challenge that you've had um, and, and see you know how they're able to move now, whether it was an issue of mobility or it's an issue of pressure, or your high blood pressure, or, or it's something with your cardiac or diabetes. Uh, you, can, you can get to a position you, know, you, you, you can uh, visit places and visit people who, who've overcome the kind of lifestyles that they can have, or maybe you've had to go through a certain diet and you're thinking, that would never happen with me, um, and to find out how you can actually make something like that, you know, uh, integrated into your life. Maybe it is a financial goal, because, you know, I always talk about finances, right? Hello, Uncle Asa, welcome. Hi, Elisa, welcome. Let's say it's a financial goal. And listen, we often want certain things as a means to an end, right? So I'm setting certain goals. It's not just to have money so people can say Modesta's value is blah, 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 trillions, because you know, that's what I'm aiming for in Jesus' name. Blah, 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 trillions. It's not for the sake of the trillions, it's for the sake of what the trillions will allow me to do, right? And so when you set your goal, always remember the why of what it is that you want to accomplish and start visualizing that thing so one of the things that i have in my heart is this huge 
do 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 that I'm gonna have across the four corners of Africa. And so what do I do? I'm engaged in a conversation with an architect to imagine having these huge things that I'm looking to set up. And when I see that 3D model, when I can picture um, a little video, a demo video of what that would look like, that really brings it close. And I remember why that I wanna reach out for this goal. It's because of the impact that I'd like to have. So whatever your goal is, whether it's financial, whether it's impact, whether it is uh, relational, that's a huge one, guys. When our relationships aren't doing well, nothing else matters. So whether it's relational, imagine living in the present of that and get connected with people that have overcome the challenge or the hurdle or the level that you're at right now so that they can tell you what it's like to be on the other side. If it is a car, like guys, I have a car that I wanna have in the next couple of months. If it is a car, go to the showroom and you know test drive that car. If it is a house or an office complex, you go book a tour, uh, whatever it is, visualize you actually living out the fulfillment, the achievement of that goal and put in your day bits and pieces and, 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 and how do I say, season your day with hints of this, of this goal being achieved. So that was number three. Number four, strategizing what it would take. I told you guys one of the most powerful questions you could ask yourself is, what would it take? Not can somebody like me, not, well, if I had the money, well, you know, if my marriage was better, well, if my kids weren't acting up, well, if, you know, if I worked under a different boss, well, you know, if I worked for a company that picked, no, 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 just ask yourself, indulge yourself. It is free. It is free. Nobody will tax you for it. It is free to ask, what would it take? And it might take, yeah, working somewhere else. Yes, it might take an, a higher income. Maybe it might it will also take pre, the pre, preliminary steps would be you, you know, fixing your relationship with others. That could be part of the process. But please don't look at the hurdles now. Don't look at the levels and the complexities of now. And disallow yourself, talk yourself out of imagining what it would take to get somewhere. So this is such a powerful question not do i have what it takes not am i enough no you know do i have the money for it just what would it take for this wait what goal to be a reality for me and then you know of course you're brainstorming you're strategizing what it would take you know so i don't know maybe it does take a lot of money maybe it takes for you to move somewhere maybe it takes that you have a team that works with you maybe whatever it is that it takes maybe it takes that you you, you know you lose weight you start working out whatever it is and then number five Find a strategy of those strategies that you were brainstorming that seems within reach and then turn that strategy, this is number seven, sorry, number six, turn that strategy into a smart goal. So of the things that it would take for me to get there, what I see as closest to me as something that I am able to today start implementing, take that thing and create a smart goal out of it. A specific goal, a measurable goal that you can actually measure how well you're progressing. Um, an achievable goal. That's something, yes, it's it's big, but remember, this isn't that, we, what goal? This is the strategy that you came up with from what would it take for me to get the weight? What? Goal? You're taking that strategy, one of those strategies that you think, I can actually start working towards this. Like, I thought this goal was out of reach, but this is something that I can do. So take that and create a SMART goal, something specific, measurable, achievable, something that is results bound and something that can be done in a specific time. Now, I often ask people, don't set goals that are more than 12 months. Set goals that you can put into place today and you can watch as they progress within the next 12 months. Because you know what? When you win on those 12 month goals, those low hanging fruits compared to that, wait, what goal? You tend to feel better. You feel like a winner. You're like, you know what? If I can do this, I can do that. I can go towards the better. I can go towards the higher. So create a smart goal out of one of these strategies. And then number seven, share this vision with a partner, with a vision partner. I love to align myself, to be surrounded with people that think so much bigger than me that, you know, I recently had a conversation with a person who thought a hundred million African leaders 
was a small number. So to him, let's start with a hundred million. But he had a larger number that we could work toward. I'm like, what? And he's actually reaching, you know, far greater than that with what he's doing. So he knows what he's talking about. And I was like, do you realize that was my entire prayer, fasting, sowing into to God and to you, that is your floor. So I love surrounding myself with people who not only have, you know, share similar values and visions, but they think so much bigger than me. People who might wait, what? Go would be child's play to them. All right, then number eight, create a vision board. You're like, oh, Modesta, that's just so childish. Who has time to be doodling and cutting and whatever? There is power in keeping front and center that which you want to see. So I would urge you. So do you know how Modesta hacks it? I really go open a Word document. I start getting clips from, you know, online, whatever. I cut and paste them, PDF it, boom, vision board printed out. Mm. So some people really like to cut out and do all kinds of things. And that's nice as well. People have vision board parties. That's amazing. But I truly open a Word document. I look for clippings. I look for um, icons, images, things that represent that which I want to achieve. Put them all together. Call it Modesta's Vision 2020, whatever it is. Then I PDF that thing. I print it out. Boom. On my wall. I have a vision board. I would encourage you to do the same thing, especially, especially since this. When we are going for huge goals, when we're going for the wait, what type of goals, there are often things that we have never seen, we have not heard, that no one that we know and can relate to has experienced. And so you will have a lot of voices in your head and maybe a lot of voices externally that say, <laughs> Who have you heard do that? Nobody ever gets there without going through this passage. We've been here a long time. We've been doing this. This is not going to be done. That's not the way to approach it. So there will be many voices, yours and other people that are saying, sit yourself down. African, woman, uh, Mary, whatever it is that they will mention, or you know, maybe they'll mention finances, reasons why you can't really expect that to come to pass in your life, really, do you? And so you need to have a board that is right there in front of you that says, this is what I'm going to achieve for as long as there's a God in heaven and he can do exceedingly abundantly anything I ask, think, or imagine, this thing is going to come to pass and you need to daily remind her. So I have next to my bed on the wall, so, I'd have to turn, you know, when I'm on the bed, I have to turn to look at it. But I have next to my bed on the wall, the vision of what I want to see. And then I have in little pieces of post-it cards, like sticky notes all around that are telling me of who I am and what I'm going for, what I'm going to achieve and scriptures that are affirming what it is I'm looking for. Why? Because I'm asking God for crazy things that I don't know anybody who's done. I mean, I'm literally asking for things I don't know of a human being on earth has done. So I need to have that. I need to have visuals of that. I need to connect with people that you know that 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 can affirm, even if they've never seen that. But they're also big dreamers and will say, you know what, <laughs> go for it, girl. Sounds crazy, but you know I am with you. And these type of people will connect you with resources, connect you with other dreamers, and sometimes that's all you really need. But so you have that visual of what it looks like, and you have affirmations for yourself to help you along the way. And then number nine. Think, speak, act in the present tense as if it's already a reality. I mean, get to a place where it's offensive. It's just offensive. Like, who do you think you are to dream that big? Who do you think you are that you... And you're talking about it as if it is so. You know, people are like, you know, you're delusional. There is something very seriously wrong with you. You believe you're going to achieve that? And then now you're talking like you're already there? Why are you trying to be acting like this thing is what it actually is not? Well, that's what the word of God tells me. Speak those things that be not as if they are and they become. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things unseen. So I am hoping, I am seeing in my mind's eye, I'm visualizing this goal that I'm going out to get. And I speak as if I'm already there because this is the other thing. And this is point number 10. Do not let go of that goal you set for yourself. And of course, like I said, must be aligned with your purpose, your values, your vision and mission. Don't let go of it. Because everything about you, and I often say this in the master plan class, you're the only person that got the memo. 
everybody around you doesn't know about this path you're taking everybody around you isn't inclined they're not even they don't even feel like moving listen I'll tell you as a coach I meet a lot of people who will fight me in the areas that they need to step up like Padessa you're asking for too much me really I can do that I mean there are times you see greater things in people than they see in themselves and they will fight you to make excuses for why that cannot be a reality in their life so that will happen to you too as you're going for this thing please do not let go of it life will happen finances will happen health will happen uh, alliances will break up just all kinds of things will happen to tell you it was nice to dream for a while but the reality is that something like this cannot happen to a person like me so you need to hold on to that you need to keep it front and center in your mind you need to you need to remember why it is that you want to achieve this goal this wait what type of goal which you've now created a, a strategy into a smaller goal a smart goal that you could achieve in the next one year I have come to understand that it takes the same amount of thinking, speaking, processing, brainstorming, dreaming, whatever it is you do, it takes the same amount of effort to aspire for something absolutely minuscule, small that you can achieve in no time, as it does to aspire for something so huge and great, you're like, God, let me see you bring this to pass. It takes exactly the same. So, are you going to dream the wait what type of dream and goals and then ask yourself what would it take I mean I am not bothering anybody I'm not asking for money from anybody I'm just asking myself if I am to go for this thing what would it take and then writing down what it would take brainstorming what it would take and going for one of those strategies that you feel like wait a second this is this is actually something I feel like I can do and putting smart goals associated with that and starting to walk them in the next 12 months you would be surprised when you set huge goals like goals that scare you goals like you're like God if you're not with me you know this thing is not going down right when you set that big goal and you ask yourself what it would take and you start brainstorming you would actually be surprised how much is within your capacity to execute how much it is within your power to implement but unless you do unless you stretch yourself to think bigger than what you think I can do with my hands I can process with my mind that I have the people and the resources to do unless you go out of that you'll never stretch out as a matter of fact unless you stretch yourself by setting high goals you will never grow into the person that you need to be to do that so sometimes we're out there, we're setting things, but there's a voice telling us, but you know you don't have this. <laughs> you know you fell so many times before. You know you've tried this. Oh, you know so-and-so tried this. And so-and-so had more money and they had more of this and more of that. Who are you? I had a conversation recently with somebody um, and it was over, it was over a name of something. I'm like, why are you calling this thing this and not the other thing? So, ah, oh, well, you know, so many people call it something similar and they might think I'm copying them. I'm like, when are you setting your vision and setting your goals on the mind of other people will think? Other people don't feature my people when you're going for, you, for, for your goals. You and your God sit down and come up with those, wait, what type of goals for your life, for your ministry, for your business, for your nonprofit, for your impact, for your family, for your finances, generational wealth. Hello, somebody. You sit with your God. You set those things for yourself. And then you will yourself to get there. Just ask yourself. What would it take? Don't ask yourself, can somebody like me, my age, my gender, my wealth, my would it take it's an innocent question but it is a powerful question as soon as you ask what would it take you have set in motion the greatest reveal the greatest revelation of what it would take you actually start walking out and you cannot now unsee you cannot undo you will find that your life is invigorated with purpose your life all of a sudden starts seeing avenues opportunities start seeing divine connections to make it happen so 
You need to know your purpose, vision, values, your mission, right? And set that what, what type of goal that you and anybody else hears is like, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's my goal. I know. And just ask yourself, what would it take? And you would be surprised how much sooner you will reach that big goal. And it would have taken just as much energy and intentionality and investment as if you set an itsy bitsy goal for you to achieve one step and then set an itsy bitsy goal to achieve the next step and an itsy bitsy goal to go to the next level. Start big. God is not intimidated. God is not under resourced. Start big. He thinks big. It is, he puts big in you. It is he who gives you the power to will and to work to please him. It is he who says, no, you know, what you're going to do is no eye has seen, no ears heard, no mind can conceive. It is he who says he's got these huge goals for us. That in whatever we ask, whatever we set, whatever we're out to get, he can do exceedingly abundantly above all of that. If I were you, I'd be setting go getting. Wait, what type of goals? And I'll start today. So guys, I came to you with this real quick. I'm going into a coaching session. I want to let you know, I have my very last in-person master plan class starting on the 1st of August. So registration is open. I've already got people coming into this class. Honestly, I don't want to take more than 10 people in this class. I really want to give you my own. So you want to learn more about the master plan class. You can DM me or go to purposeandexcellence.africa slash master plan and you learn more about this journey if you're at a place where you're thinking I don't have any more time to waste I have tried things my own way and I have not landed very far like guys I'm a, like a webinar queen I will watch people's webinar I'll buy people's books you know I'm getting resources all around for things but there is just something about having a coach that will walk you through the how to's that will help you get unstuck in your mind and in your heart first and help you with the tools, the resources, the strategies for you to excel in your career, business and life. So if you're interested in being more than you had ever dreamed of in finding out what God put in you and how you can achieve that, how you, yes, you one person with 24 hours and responsibilities already, can achieve that and still stay sane and still have relationships, right? And still have finances. Matter of fact, to exponentially grow your income, your influence, and your impact. If you are ready to see not just changes, transformation, but actually impact, influence in your career, business, and life, in your industry, in your nation, look for me. Join the master plan class. So we start on 1st August. Registration is open throughout. If you'd like to have a conversation with us, I want to learn more. Or oh, Modesta, I am actually going through this challenge at the moment in my career, in my business. Or Modesta, you know, I've been doing the same old thing for a little bit. I'm looking to diversify. Maybe I'm looking to have a hybrid type of uh, market expression, both career and business. What would that look like for me? These are my responsibilities. These are my financial obligations. You know, uh, this is my education. A lot of people feel like their education stands in the way, guys. It does not, but it, we'll talk about that. You can start where you are and grow. Like Modesta here is about to get three certifications that I feel that I need for the next level. So it is allowed to do that, but that didn't stop me. You guys know I started a very long time ago and I didn't have that. And everything that the Lord has brought me through and to has been just as I am trusting this big God and going after all that I want to go for um, to, to bring transformation to leaders in Africa. So if this is something that's, that you would like to do, if you feel like I am ready, I've been doing it over and over. I've been doing it in my own strength. I've been doing it in my own strategies. I've been you know, trying to do it with, with people on the, on the ground. Things are just not going. Time is running out and I want to be more effective. I want to have a life that's more fulfilling. I want to have an, a career you know, that is more impactful, that, that has meaning. I'd like, to, I'd like to have a business that I'm not holding my breath about every single month, a business that, that not only um, you know, sells product, but is, is a great place to work and has great impact in, in our community, in the industry. Look for me. Go to purposeandexcellence.africa slash master plan, or you can DM me, or you can send me an email on info at purposeandexcellence.africa and let's get you registered for the master plan class. 
all right just real quick people be like oh modesta i saw how much it is uh do you do payment plans yes we do payment plans i got you i understand people come from different markets i understand covid happened i understand that you know when you're converting from a national currency to usd it can be a little overwhelming but i have that sorted out as well if you're serious and you're ready to invest in yourself just ask yourself what would it take what would it take for me to join the master plan class what would it take then have a conversation with me and i can help you see what it would take guys it's been wonderful let me get to my coaching session right now have a wonderful tuesday listen set those wait what type of goals and then ask yourself what would it take to make this a reality and you would be surprised that you will hit those goals sooner than you thought if you've ever asked yourself am i really could somebody like me really it means you actually do not believe you have what it takes to reach your vision you actually don't believe even if it is your vision even if they are your goals, you don't believe like somebody like you deserves them somebody like you can achieve it and you've got a little bit of work to do so go back to this video listen to it again look at the 10 steps and go after that thing you will come back guys you will come back with a testimonial and you say modesta you will not believe it i took your advice i set a big goal i asked myself what it would take i got you know one of the strategies created smart goal out of that started executing it and i am seeing the results in my life and not just in my life like it's spiraling off it is having impact in other people's lives matter of fact i've inspired seven other people to do something similar this is where it starts guys it starts from within but it starts from stretching yourself within and then finding out what it takes to implement it. Most powerful question I leave you with today. What would it take? Run with that. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Much love. Bye.